Welcome to Lead Code. Welcome to your weekly financial news. Welcome to Lee and Co. And on this week's financial news, we want to discuss something that is happening to this day and something that maybe it will continue to happen for the next couple of weeks, maybe even the next couple of months. And that is the cr trying to crash economy or not so stable economy versus the Fed. And why do we say it like this? Well, if you've been following the news, if you've been following any sort of financial, uh, your local news or your nationwide news, you've noticed that the Fed has done everything in their hands and they are saying and promising that they will do anything that's in their hands and in their power to try and keep the economy stable, to try and keep the economy going back up. Well, this is not the reality that is happening in the economy. Even though they are printing money, even though they are giving all of these loans, giving all of these helps, they keep buying bonds from company, the reality is that the economy is not supposed to work that way. The economy needs people to start going back to work, to start generating money on their own, to start investing their money, spending their money, and keep that wheel working of spending, earning, spending, investing, earning, and so on and so forth. The Fed cannot sustain this. The Fed cannot keep handing out money to people, handing out money to corporations, because they are focusing on the reality, they are focusing on big and large companies, which is important because they provide most employment uh, in the United States. They are trying to provide trying to provide for the people here down below, but they are forgetting about these people in between, these small businesses, these small restaurants, these family-owned businesses. Those are the real key market indicators in the economy because they are the ones that have most impact in your local economy. And they have the most impact on the surrounding economy around them. Because if you live in a town, where all of the local markets, all of the local businesses are closed, you would expect that the price of your real estate is gonna go down unless some big corporation or some big money investor swipes everything up and buys and invests in them. But the reality is for those small towns in places that they depend on small businesses and they cannot operate because they are on 25%, there are 50% of capability, they are eventually going to disappear. And why is this a problem? Because the system will not provide for employment for them. Most big companies are receiving money, but they are actually going down on employees. employees. They are firing employees, they are furloughing employees. Some companies are even even though they receive money, they are closing stores nationwide and they are leaving their employees employing, uh, without employment and all of those small businesses and local businesses that are going to close, where are we going to get employment for them? And this is the real problem with what is happening in the economy. Even though the Fed can provide thousands of dollars hit that pr uh, printing money machine going back up, the reality is that the economy does not depend just on printing money. Eventually, that will be uh, turn out to be that the US dollar is going to devaluate in his price because all of that printing that's going on and there is not going to be enough employment, there is not going to be enough economic activity to sustain the economy that the federal government is trying to do. So this is very important when it comes to talking about what is happening in the economy right now. And it's something that we need to keep in perspective. We hope, we pray that we can move past everything that is going to ha going happening throughout these couple of months. But the reality is that a vaccine or a treatment is going to take a while. This is not going to be something that is immediate and the stock market and the economy is starting to notice and 
if you follow the stock market these past few weeks, it's not been going up, it's actually been going down. So, this has been your weekly financial news. Stay safe, stay healthy, and always remember to have that king mentality.